After thinking for about 8.5 seconds, I get an idea of what can we do today, and here it is. Today we're gonna do drums Q&A. I was just watching vlog 26, and I just laughed my ass off. It was incredible. So, uh, yeah, it was really funny. I mean, my editor is getting better and better and better. We're doing like reviews and all these things, and he's really talented. Uh, his name is Robert, by the way, and he just did that so well. But you should really check it out. Vlog 26 is like, I, I think I made it 4, 3, 30, so 4, 40 or something. So, yeah. Good morning. Uh, right now I'm going to sign the contract for a new office. It's exciting stuff. I'm really looking forward to going to the new office. I think it's a great move. Uh, even though it's certainly a bigger office than we need, but it's a lot of fun. So we're gonna do that. And the rest of the day, I think I have meetings, calls, and then I need to do some strategy for one client. So we'll do that. Yo, what's up? Um, today is a really interesting day. Uh, just sign off for the contract for the new office. I'm really excited about that. A lot of good things happening. Uh, it's just like beginning of January and things are already starting to happen, which I really love. Um, yeah, it, it's just good. Um, one thing that I was thinking of, <clears throat> and it's probably not going to be the to topic of today's vlog, but one thing that I was thinking of is what I did really well is in my growth phases, uh, which is still now, I'm still in growth phase, but like really, really early, early, early stage, what I did uh, that allowed me to grow so fast is I was not hanging out with the friends that I didn't like. I was not going into meetups and meet people that think they do, they want it and they think they do it, but they really don't. So I was not hanging out with anyone and I was not exposing myself to any bad contrasts. And what I think, what I think that did is, and by the way, I really hope the sun is not gonna kill the uh, video, but uh, what that did is it gave me no contrast and I just went by my standards, which are really, really high. So let me just explain that. So what I did is I lived in my own bubble of the things that I knew were right and the things that I knew I had to do. I didn't live in comparison to other people. I didn't compare myself to other people. I didn't ask them what they think. I just went out and did what I thought was best and the, the outcome was just a lot better because what happens is when you realize what people around you are doing, um, it's not gonna it's not gonna work out that well for you if you have really high standards because they're gonna average you up to their level, which I don't think is cool. So I need to take like a quick nap, 30 minutes, then I'll go back to do some calls. Um, and uh, and yeah, it's actually getting pretty heated up right now because of the sun. So gotta finish this section of the vlog and continue with the next one. Yes. I believe if you if so if you're doing the stop motion which is powerful you should try that by itself stand alone once and second you should try the behind the scenes and the making of and how you guys like literally chopped 46,000 pieces of plastic and how you guys went up and found a solution and like the, the how you thought of this idea right and then how it, like it, it has to be scripted though because otherwise it would take you like four hours people when I watch that but I think that's that's a lot interesting idea to me than the actual um, thing, than the actual one, one stop motion video, to me, because I, I want to see that, you know. Oh. Here's here here's the starting of a video: you staying here, and the camera camera being on you, and then and then the camera zooms off, and there's this big mount of plastic, and then you say that's 46,000 46, pieces of. You know what I mean? I, th I think that's a powerful start because that's like, what is that? I need to see it now. Because that as the first, first five seconds of an ad will kill it. It will kill it. That's an image that will go viral. That's something people will share. I love that so much for whatever reason. I don't know why. Okay, so uh, after thinking for about 8.5 seconds, I get an idea of what can we do today, and here it is. Today we're gonna do drums Q&A, okay?
anyway. And here's the fancy intro for the Q&A. So, um, because I got like some questions uh, that I didn't have, like I couldn't write the whole five pages to, to answer them, um, I actually decided to take some of, the, some of the interesting questions that I've got lately and to respond to them in this video. So let's just do it. Let's start with a question. I have my fancy iPad here with the questions. So let's start with this question. Um, Andre, Andre is asking, I totally agree with the trained enter text here. Can you share some more resources on that for introverts? Uh, so this video is referring to a video I did where I basically talk about when you are trained into something versus when you're naturally good at something. And um, what he's basically asking is, how can you train yourself to be uh, something you're not naturally good at um, and some tips for that for introverts. So my tips when you're trying to learn something that you're not naturally good at is try to reframe what you're doing because you want to get to that something that you like. So here's what I mean. When you, for example, you want to learn a skill that is not related to what, let's just say you want to learn programming and you're a graphic designer, right? Then let's just say you don't like, gra you don't like, um, Developing you don't like the you don't like, don't like to code you don't like all that So how you would learn code in that scenario if you're a graphic designer is you would reframe the coding Learning experience because it's gonna make you a better designer and it's gonna allow you to express your words into actual results, so That's what I would do next question uh, tu -tu 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 -tu. Zayas is asking Hi, Kamlin. How's it going, mate? It's going great, man. Another awesome vlog today. Thank you so much. I have another question for you. Do you have any tips for being more organized? I love what I'm doing and I have the work ethic. That's important. But I've never been an organized person. I'm sure I'll get there, but I will love your input on this. Thank you a lot. Thanks a lot, man. You're welcome. Um, so tips for being more organized. Me, myself, naturally, Zayas, um, I'm not really an organized person. By the way, thank you so much for watching the vlogs. So I'm not really an organized person, but in the last three months, and let me just show you real quick, uh, I think five months or something, I've disco discovered this amazing thing called, called calendar. Until then, I didn't have anything scheduled on my calendar, which don't ask me how, but it was possible. I, I made it possible, but, but now looking back, it seemed impossible for me. So tip number one, use a calendar app. Google Calendar, whatever calendar app you want, Google is the best because it integrates with everything, so it's flawless. Um, and just have your tasks that you wanna do in each and every day and each and every week scheduled out in Google Calendar, right? Like, I need four hours for, for this on Monday, I need three hours for that on Tuesday, I have a meeting then, I, have, I wanna hang out with my friends on a Friday, and you just schedule out that block of time, right? So, check it out, th this out, I really hope you can see this. Um, this is how my okay. Uh, this is how my last five months from August have been looking. So August, September, October, November, December. After I found out about the calendar thing, so uh, it made me. It allows me to. It allowed me to do so much more work um, because I was actually able to schedule the whole thing. Right. Um, another tip I would give you is you should download this app, it's called Clear, and it's for iPhone, I think it's for Android as well, and what it does for me is it basically like a, it's a basically like a, it's a list app, and uh, whenever I have a new idea or something that I have to do or I have to schedule, I just take my phone, just add it there, and then I'll reschedule it back or at the end of the week. So that way, I almost, I always know I, I always keep touch of the things that I gotta do or I gotta delegate to somebody else. And at the same time, I never lose things out of sight and I, I act on all my ideas. Because when you're lying in your bed and you get like this crazy idea, you wanna note that down somehow so that you never actually lose it. Uh, okay, I'm just trying to fix the light here. Let me just check if it's good. Okay, 
So that's the two tips. Um, Google Calendar, clear. And third, be freaking disciplined. Like if you're not disciplined, you will not be able to stay organized, right? Like have routines in your life. Um, train as, as much as you can, try to train discipline into yourself because that way when you try to do something that's quote unquote organized, so when you have that four to six thinking or whatever you wanna think about or doing whatever you wanna do, you're gonna be able to do it. So that's my three things I think. You're welcome. Next question, George asks, talk a bit uh, talk a bit in your future blog about your interview with Bob Proctor. I'm curious about how you managed to obtain it, seeing he's not that available, and how was it for, and what was it for? Was it just for you or for a documentary? Question mark. George, so here's the thing. Um, so a while ago, I did this interview with Bob Proctor, which... Target locked. He's an extremely, um, extremely amazing guy, right? So um, that's for sure. Uh, just one second, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta check on this again. Okay, so now it's better. The lighting was annoying me. So getting back on your, on your answer, George. So a while ago I did this interview with Bob Proctor that by the way is gonna be soon, is, it was epic, it's gonna be soon released on the channel, probably in the next month or so. So keep, that, keep, uh, keep an eye on that as, as it's gonna do. And by the way, if you don't know who Bob Proctor is, just Google, just Google him, he's amazing. Um, how, you, how I managed to obtain it? Well, uh, our agency managed the ads um, and the whole campaign, promotional campaign for one of his up and coming movies based on the book Think and Grow Rich. What is Think and Grow Rich? Well, don't ask me, like 15 million, 50 million people bought it. So there's a new documentary you made on that um, that raised like $400,000 or something around that. Um, I mean, the numbers change because they always get some more. Um, so we, 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 we were the agency to be in charge of the campaigns of that and that's how we managed to get to Bob Proctor, which, um, which is a really, it's, he's a legend, he's a really incredible guy, awesome energy, awesome vibe, awesome everything. And um, what was it for? It was for or an interview that we would later promote on our channel, on our brands and leverage off uh, for him and for us as well. Um, so yeah, that's it. So it will be out soon, probably in the next month or so. So keep an eye on that if you want to see Bob Proctor and me doing an interview with Bob Proctor. Check it out. Next question. So we have time for one more. Let's see which one do I like. Okay, Octavian asks, as a video I'm in, just stop by studying so I can watch this, whatever, I'll skip all of this and I'll go back to the question. I would like to hear more about the very beginning of the social media thing thing before you've already had four or five clients and they've been really, really over all those stuff. I think it'd be good to be paid by but I don't know where to start from. Good. So, um, the very beginning of the social media thing. Well, the very beginning of the social media thing was me actually realizing that I can be good at this social media thing, right? Um, uh, and I'm just making fun of the thing. Thing. Don't worry about it. It's good. Okay, Kevin, you're watching this right now. I know you are. Um, so <laughs> here's what I what I would do. I mean, where to start from? Like, there's no place to start. You started already. You know what I mean? So just like the internet. So for research purposes, the internet and articles free on the internet are amazing by themselves. So if you just go and learn the fundamentals, you can go out and learn the blueprint course from Facebook and that will give you like a 10% head start. Then you can go out and read a bunch of articles and about your blogs about Facebook ads. There's a bunch of them out there that are good. We, in Chris Media, Catalin Matei, my brand, is also gonna launch um, a lot of blogs around Facebook ads and technical stuff and all that crazy stuff. So keep an eye on that as well, but that's gonna be like 30 to 60 days from launching of this video, probably. Um, depends on a lot of variables. So what I would do, no, at the very beginning, I think it'd be good for Facebook. So in regards to where to start, I think you should start learning the principles of marketing and how people act and how people behave and then understand that Facebook, as anything else, is just a way for you to express and understand people by using that platform. So that's one belief that I would have. The very beginning of the social media thing, before I have four or five clients, 
If you're asking me how to get the first kind of clients, what I would do is first, really be good at what I'm doing, right? Second, go and offer my services for free to restaurants, local businesses, clients that I know, clients I can get to, clients I can call, call, clients I can email, whatever it is. But here's the thing, you don't wanna risk yourself too much. So if you're not really good at what you do, get some client that is not risky, that you can figure it out, right? Like don't get like a complex funnel building client and then you kind of like in the middle of nothing. So get a simple client that you can handle, like a restaurant or local business, figure it out for them. You're gonna learn in the process because you only learn by doing, only learn by doing, my opinion. Uh, only really learn by doing. And then after you offer your services for free, so just do, go up to them like, hey man, I wanna do this for you, it's gonna be completely free for you. After three months, if you like it, if it's giving you results, then we'll go ahead and, and make a contract and make a deal off of that. So you just go do that because you have no leverage point. You don't know anything, you don't have any history and nothing. So you cannot possibly charge those people money upfront. So that's what I would do. I would go offer my services for free. Uh, I would take some simple clients so that I can figure it out. Um, I will learn as fast as I can, as much as I can. There will be a lot of sleepless nights. You will fail a lot, you will succeed a lot. And that's what I would do. So that's practically what I did. Um, I mean, I th my first client I actually got was a $1,500 client or something like that. So I got, I went down a similar route, a different route because I was already good at Facebook from doing e-commerce in the past. So there's a lot of variables, but that's kind of my answer, Octavian. I hope it helps. And with that, we're gonna wrap up this Q&A session. And um, no, we're not gonna do an ending out on this video. So yeah, um, thank you so much for the question, guys. And um, just remember, like, whenever you have questions regarding a specific video, regarding anything, you can ask me any single thing you would like to answer, you would like to ask. And um, I'll make sure I'll make these Q&A videos constantly like once a week or something like that, depends on the number of questions, and I'll just make sure I answer them for you and for other people watching. Um, just saw another question popping in uh, that I haven't seen, so let's just answer this one as well. So bon bonus question, let's hear. So another question from George, I remember reading about the Arnold story in the Alberto Rodrigo, list some of your favorite autobiographies in a future video. A challenge from me, hey, 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 hey. Challenge accepted, man. Okay, so favorite biographies. Uh, the Virgin one is really good. Uh, Total Recall by Arnold Schwarzenegger is really good. Then Helen Keller uh, is amazing. It's a story about this woman that was deaf, blind, and um, what's the name? What's the name of that? So she couldn't hear, she couldn't see, and she couldn't talk. She, was, she didn't have these three main senses and she made her way through life by feeling, by touching. So only understanding that story, I mean, it made me so much more grateful for what I have and it's, it's just such an incredible story. You cannot really complain after you've read, read that book. You know what I mean? Like you're complaining right now about, your, about the weather about like something, and that woman didn't have three senses and she made it happen. So, you know what I mean? It's, it's good to always have a good contrast like that. Another good one I loved, let's see, Helen Keller, the biography of Sam Walton and how he built Walmart, which nobody reads, but it's incredible. Uh, I think George, I answered you with this in the comments, but I'm gonna do this again for everyone to see, to see and hear. So yeah, that, that, that would be my, my suggestion. So Total Recall, um, Sam Walton's book on how he built uh, Walmart um, and then Helen Keller's book um, which I don't know the name of it I've read it a while back but it's a really really good book so again with that being said thanks so much for watching this first Q&A session um, I feel really good about these Q&A sessions I like them so uh, guys ask more questions whatever you guys feel feel like you want to um, we have some you want some answers on and I'll make sure I get back to you and um, Put them on for the next Q&A's that we're gonna do so thank you much for watching this video and see you tomorrow I take 30 to 45 minutes to do my night routine which is composed of 
First, cold shower. Second, journaling. Third thing, read my affirmations and goals. Fourth thing, sleep. Pretty simple. Now let's let's actually break them down. And why do I do?